Hello, I'm Matteo, the Chief Mobile Opinionist here at Tech Travel Geeks. And this is a quick how-to guide for expanding your Amazon Fire 7 tablet with a micro SD card. And this video is going to be recorded with what is an Amazon Basics memory card. So it's an Amazon branded memory card, which uh, in this case comes in a two pack. So that's two 64 gigabyte micro SD cards with one adapter uh, in the box. And as you can see from the packaging, it's pretty much a simple bit of packaging with a handy little transporter for two memory cards and your micro SD adapter. So I'm going to take out one of them and very simply, you need to find the port on your Amazon Fire 7 tablet where the micro SD card goes. And if you have it face with the back facing you and the camera in the top left hand corner, it's at the bottom underneath the camera. So it's under here. So camera is top left at the bottom left of the tablet, you'll have this little plastic lip. You just put your fingernail under one of the plastic lip, uh, under the plastic lip, it comes aside, and then it's pretty simple. It's essentially a spring-loaded uh, memory card slot. So take your memory card, have it with its uh, writing facing up. Oh, wrong way around. So writing facing down, and it goes into the tablet like that. And then you need to use your fingerprint to just get that clipping in. And when you do, you'll hear a little clicking sound and that's the memory card in. Now that's it physically in the tablet. What we're going to do next is turn on the tablet. In this case, I'm going to unlock it. And then we're going to go and go into the settings got quite a few notifications here. We're going to go into settings and you can do that by pulling down on the notification shade, pulling down it again, and you've got the little cog icon at the bottom right. Tap on that. And then as the settings load, you can scroll down and there's one option called storage. So this colored row, it's gray in my case, with the storage, will tell you how much you have left on your device, in this case, 3.9 gigabytes for me. And then you've got portable storage, disk corrupted. Now this is normal. Memory cards, as they come out of the box, probably need to be formatted to work with your device appropriately. So if we go through this, tap on disk, you'll then be told that the storage is corrupted. If you set it up, it will take you through the menu system to Use this memory card as internal storage if you're not planning on taking it in and out of your device or use it as portable storage as I am. And one of the first things you'll do is once you click on that is be prompted to format your memory card. Tap on that and it will take a few seconds depending on the size and speed of your memory card. But in this case, as you see, it's just a few seconds. I can click done. So that should be done. So your storage device is ready to use. Click on done. And the great thing about the new version of Fire OS is that you then have the option to decide how you use that. So I've automatically opted to download my films and TV programs to the SD card, my music to SD card, photos and personal videos to the SD card, download audiobooks, books and periodicals and so they're all automatically going to download not to the device but to the memory card which means that i'll have more storage for the actual apps so there you go and once you've done that you can just clear your notification about the memory card and that should work fine so there you go this is a quick how to on how to install a micro sd on your fire 7 tablet we hope this video has been useful to you. If you have any further questions or you'd like to know more, please do leave us a comment in the section below. We'll do our best to get back to you as soon as possible. Now, I'm going to link in the description to where there's other Tech Travel Geeks content about the Amazon Fire 7 tablet. I'm quite enjoying my time with the device. 
Uh, you can also purchase that from Amazon. I'll link to where you can purchase it on Amazon in the description, as well as where you can purchase this handy kit of two micro SD cards from Amazon Basics. Uh, as far as I'm concerned, these are pretty decent memory cards. They do a good job, uh, as long as you're not going to be doing something such as recording 4K video. For most people, they're more than enough. I'll link to, the, to that product in the description as well. But as I said, um, everything else will be in the description. If you don't already, please do subscribe to the Tech Travel Geeks here on YouTube. We cover consumer electronics, gadgets, and pretty much anything we think makes the travel experience better. But for now, thanks for watching and goodbye from me.